Number two, complete the changes in concentrations for each of the following reactions. And then we have this balanced equation right here. So we have Ca3AsO42 solid, which will dissociate or yield into three calciums, three Ca2 plus aqueouses plus the two AsO4 three minuses. Now the question is, if they told us that the calcium ion is going to change as a 3x, what is going to be the change for the ASO4. Well, remember, any changes in concentration always goes back to the balanced equation. More specifically, it's always talking about the coefficients, aka the big numbers in front of your ions in this case. So there's three calciums for every two ASO4s. So that's why they denoted the calcium as a 3x because there was a three in front of the coefficient, uh, in front of the calcium, and the change, they just said, we don't know what it is, so let's label it as x. Now all we have to do is the same thing for the ASO4, three minus. Well, the change is going to be some type of x value, and the coefficient in front is a two. So this would change by two x. That's all that it is. It's just as simple as just looking at your coefficients and writing that the change is whatever that change is, this is going to be three times that, and this would be two times that. So this would actually change more, a little bit more, because the coefficient number is bigger than the ASO4 minus, or three minus. Okay? So I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much. I will see you all. Well, I won't see you, but I'll talk to you, right? I'll talk to you in the next question. Okay. Bye-bye.